Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be taking a look at an example on parallel lines cut by a transversal and the definition of a parallelogram. Question, in the diagram below, lines K and L intersect line M and P at points A, B, C, and D. Which statement is sufficient to prove a, B, C, D is a parallelogram. So we want to prove that it's quadrilateral formed as a result of the intersection of the these lines. We want to prove that this quadrilateral right here is a parallelogram. Okay? So we have four options that we are going to be looking at. So first things first, what is a parallelogram? Let's take a look at uh, what the definition of a parallelogram is. And then we're going to formulate a plan of action to determine uh, what the correct answer is. So for the definition of what a parallelogram is, we're going to go to our website, mathgodserve.com. You can go to geometry, the geometry link. And we're going to scroll down to the vocab section. All right, so let's look at, click on parallelogram, vocab 26. All right, so parallelogram is a quadrilateral where opposite sides are parallel and congruent. So in the particular example that we're looking at right now, um, we're going to be focusing our, our attention on parallel, on the parallel orientation of the line, okay, because we're not given any measures. So if you take a look at our parallelogram here, you can see that AB is parallel to CD and BC is parallel to AD. All right, so if you have any quadrilateral where opposite sides are parallel, then that quadrilateral is automatically a parallelogram. All right, so let's formulate a plan of attack to help us answer this question. So the plan specifically is to, uh, we're, we're trying to prove uh, that ABCD, quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Okay, so uh, in order to do that, we have to show, since we're just dealing with the orientation of the lines here, no measures, uh, we must show, we must show that opposite sides are what? Opposite sides are parallel. Okay, so to do that, we're going to use these four lines as a tool. Number one, we have to show that the lines oriented in the left-right direction, K and L, we have to show that line K is parallel to line L, okay? Show that this line right here, K, is parallel to L. That will show that the top and the bottom part of our uh, parallelogram are parallel, okay? And then secondly, the lines that are oriented vertically up-down, M and N, we have to show, we also have to show that uh, M is parallel to N. Alrighty? So, we should also show that uh, M is parallel to L, N. So, which of these options show these two pair of lines are parallel? That will be the correct answer. So, we're going to walk our way through all of them. Let's start with option number one. So, option number one, we have... Angle 1 is parallel to angle 3. So if angle 1, this angle right here, is parallel to angle 3, you have uh, corresponding angles. Okay, so if you have parallel lines cut by a transversal, and corresp um, if corresponding angles are congruent, we have two lines cut by a transversal, then the lines are parallel. All right, so what conclusion can we draw from this? If um, angle 1 is congruent to angle 3, that follows that. The lines are oriented vertically. Lines M is parallel to line N. Okay? That's necessary, but it's not sufficient. It shows just condition number two. So this is not sufficient. In order for it to be sufficient, it has to show both conditions one and two. Alrighty? So our answer is not one. It's not complete. Alright, option two. Uh, angle 4 is congruent to angle 7. So if angle 4, let's take this one out, is congruent to angle 7, 
this one right here angle 4 and angle 7 uh, what we have is um, alternate interior angles alrighty so if you have lines cut by transversal and alternate interior angles are congruent then those parallel those lines are going to be parallel so this option option 2 basically helps us to see that the lines are oriented horizontally line K and L are parallel that's just only condition one all right so it's necessary but it's not sufficient this is not sufficient remember we need two conditions namely one and two to show that this is a parallelogram all right so it can be number two because it's not complete all right let's move on to three well we have a pair of conditions here so this looks promising uh so for uh, option three angle two is congruent to angle five so angle two is congruent to angle five all right and then angle five is congruent to angle seven bam like that all right so let's look at that so for option three if angle two is congruent to angle five all right uh, what does that tell us angle 2 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles so if those alternate interior angles are congruent then that shows that um, the lines are oriented horizontally and line K is parallel to line L okay so it shows that K is parallel to L based on the fact that these two angles are congruent they're alternate interior angles now, if you look at 5 and 7, these are corresponding angles, all right, involving these two lines right here and transversal L. So, also, if angle 5 is, uh, sorry, is congruent to angle 7, since they are corresponding angles, guess what? It follows that the vertically, vertically oriented lines M and L N are parallel. Beautiful. That's exactly what we need to show that these two pair of lines, the ones oriented vertically and horizontally, are parallel. Okay, so with these two, this is sufficient to prove that. Um, so this automatically shows that um, uh, ABCD is a parallelogram, right? A sufficient condition because it satisfies conditions one and two bam bam all right okay so we know what the answer is the answer is option three let's just take a look at the last one just to make sure that our answer is correct so for option four uh what do we have here for option four we have um Angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. So angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. We have corresponding angles here. All right, so let's write that down. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. So what does that tell us? So we have these two corresponding angles in this cluster of two lines cut by a transversal. Then we know that the lines going up and down, M and N are parallel. M is parallel to N. Excellent. And then angle three is congruent to angle four. Angle three is congruent to angle four. So this angle is congruent to this angle right here. So that is always the case. That doesn't tell us anything. Angle three and angle four is just a definition of vertical angles. We know that all vertical angles are congruent. All right. It doesn't have anything to do with parallel lines. Vertical angles in this case does not show us anything with concerning parallel lines. If you're looking for parallel lines, you're looking at corresponding angles, alternate interior or exterior angles, or um, or same side interior and exterior angles. Okay, so vertical angles situation that we have here is not relevant so in the context of what we're looking at right here parallel lines trying to show that lines are parallel 
this information that we are getting from here is not relevant okay not relevant all right so the only one that's relevant concerning showing lines of parallel is the first one all right so it satisfies just condition number two it shows that m and n are parallel all right because you have corresponding angles is that sufficient no this is not sufficient because we need to satisfy both conditions one and two so this is not sufficient all right so we can see for a certainty that our answer correct answer is option number three thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation really appreciate it don't forget to help support our channel tons of support resources can be found at mathgoserve.com to check it out if you have any questions about what we just went over or any geometry concepts in general, you can specify it in the comment section below. I will be more than glad to support you. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.